Would you like to visualize your whole supply chain network? Today, I will show you how to create your own maps with the supply chain apps, but also how to customize maps, save and share them. Are you ready? Let's go! The first thing that you need to do is to open your locally installed Excel or use Excel online version. Now find Insert in the ribbon, click on Get Ads In. The official Microsoft Store will appear. Just type in search field Supply Chain. After pressing Enter, the first thing that will pop up are our supply chain apps. Click on Add. After agreeing with terms and conditions, go and continue. Lockup tab will appear in the ribbon. Click on it, then press Home. And now you can choose whether you want to sign in through free account or through Microsoft. Whatever option you choose, you will be led directly to our home menu with supply chain apps. Click on Supply Chain Map. Now you need to input the data. You can choose whether you want to visualize locations, relations, areas or routes. Let's say now we want to visualize relations. We will press Relations, then go on Generate Template and after that we will press Push to Map. Your map is now here, congratulations, and it's completely customizable. You can drag this map in any direction you want. You can also zoom it in or zoom it out or change the perspective of the map. If you click here, you can change the position of the layers according to your preferences. By clicking on pen, you can change the name of the layer or the color of the dot. You can also change the size and the transparency of the dots. If you click on icon, you can choose which icon can be visible on the dot. You can choose among the available icons or you can input some of your own, for example, the logo of your company. You can as well change the color, size and transparency of the borders. You can go on map style and change how you can see your map on street mode, dark mode, strategic, satellite or light mode. Now you are probably wondering, how can you save your map? If you want to download your map as a picture, you can do a screenshot just by clicking on this photo icon. If you want to save this map here in our workspace and edit it later, just click on this yellow floppy disk. The floppy disk is actually yellow because it reminds you that your map is not saved yet. In my map name, just give the name of your map as you wish. Then after saving it, you will see that the floppy disk turned green. That means your map is saved. Now click on the additional icon that appeared. Here we are giving you a possibility to share the map with somebody. Type the email of that person, write an optional message if you want, up to 160 characters, and you can give three levels of accesses to somebody. Just to see the map, to see and share the map to other colleagues or additional users, and to see, share and edit the map. If you click on Manage Access, you will see that you are the owner of your map as soon as you save it, but you can change the ownership by clicking here and entering the email of a person for who you want to become a new owner of the map. Now let's see where did our map go and where did we save it. Now, in order to do that, we need to go on the Home button in My Maps platform. We have here three mandatory workspaces. In my workspace, there are all the maps that you saved. In Shared with me, you have the maps someone shared with you. And in the example maps, you have the maps that we here saved for you and that we thought can be useful to look at for some of your future projects. So, what did we achieve today? The first, you learned how to create, style and share data-driven maps. The second, you saw how you can visualize your whole supply chain end-to-end. -end. The third, with just few clicks in Excel, you brought data to live, so you saw how you can increase your planning efficiency. And the last, but definitely not least, you learned how you can impress your customers and colleagues with professional-looking maps. I really hope you liked this video today, so I'm encouraging you to continue learning about our supply chain apps through our next video, center of gravity. Also, in the description below this video, you will find two links. The first link is to download our supply chain apps and test them for free. 
And the second link is to register for our introduction training session. Also, do not forget to subscribe and to write us in the comments because we can't wait to answer all your questions.